Australia places gender equality uh, very high up in our list of priorities in the multilateral system. And of course, the UPU is no exception there. So um, we are very pleased to have introduced proposals on gender equality um, at the Abidjan meeting, uh, which were accepted. And we're very much committed to continue to work with the UPU on gender equality within the organisation within the postal sector. So I think you know it's fair to say the UPU is on a good track in terms of improving its gender equality. Um, it's really important not just to have gender equality within the organisation but also within senior roles. So I mean I think that's something uh, that's definitely a focus. Um, I understand the Director General is very committed to the objective of gender equality and you know has committed to a number of things, including the establishment of a gender equality policy for the organisation and also um, appointed a gender diversity champion. So um, that's a really good start. And um, there are, of course, uh, other things that are in train um, that he's also committed to, like ensuring uh, UPU uh, documents are in gender neutral language, which I think is um, really important. And we often see in multilateral organisations, particularly where their rules of procedure and you know establishment documents were drafted many years ago, that they do tend to have uh, sexist language in them. So I think the commitment to ensuring that's not the case for the UPU is really great, I think. Australia is committed to continue working with the UPU on gender issues. Um, we hosted a breakfast at the last council meeting, which uh, was really well attended, had about 150 people there. And, you know, we're really um, happy that um, we're able to contribute in that way. Well, I think across all Australian government operations, uh, there's a focus on improving gender equality and um, within the Department of Communications, which oversees um, the postal service, uh, there are, you know, a majority of senior executive roles are filled by women. Within Australia Post itself, um, it's got a real commitment to um, increasing gender diversity in the organisation, um, including in senior roles. Um, it has had a female um, chief executive in the past, but also getting women into roles that are traditionally dominated by men. So there's a lot of work going on in that space to improve um, improve um, the ability of women to take on those roles. And there's things like mentoring and flexibility and those sorts of things that also make the career path for women um, you know, more accessible. Um, more broadly, beyond the actual organisation, I mean, I think it's clear that um, connectivity is a um, essential kind of characteristic of um, our modern society. And by enabling um, women to have access to services, to products, um, to run their businesses um, using the postal service from home, um, those are all really important areas where um, postal services can play a very important role. Sure. Well, firstly, let me say that the um, policy of ensuring every postal service is digital, digitally connected um, by 2030 is a really laudable one. And, you know, it really is an important element of bridging the digital divide that um, is, you know, incredibly um, disadvantageous to people living in countries where that hasn't happened yet. In Australia, I mean, the post office that you go into today, even if, if you go into it, you don't often have to go into it. But if you do, it is completely different to um, the post offices that were around when I was a child. So, you know, you can perform a whole lot of different functions there from getting your passport to paying your bills to, um, you know, getting your online purchases delivered there, um, those sorts of things. Um, and I think, you know, it, it, the postal service is a really important enabler for the um, sort of economy that um, we have now. And um, it's important that 
we continue to diversify the postal service and to improve, um, you know, its own capability in that regard. I think Australia Post has um, invested in um, technology in a big way, um, both in sort of post box services, in fleet services, um, and also um, in around um, the whole sort of e-commerce industry. So that's really important as well. Australia is really delighted to have signed uh, the recent declaration with the UPU and with the Asia Pacific Postal Union. We've launched a Pacific Postal Development Program, which is focused on uh, really um, improving uh, the infrastructure, the services, the capability, the training of postal services within the Pacific. Um, and we are really excited about announcing a number of projects under that initiative in early 2023. But it's great to have the UPU um, engaged with us as part of that initiative. I think uh, you will bring invaluable um, insights and, and expertise to that process.